What is up, bitches? We are back, the boys of Outspoken, with another review of RuPaul's Drag Race, yes. season 10, episode three? Four. 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 Whatever, bro. You know I don't keep track. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, there obviously this episode is full of the drama and full of the fucking glamour. Oh yeah. Ooh, which I've been living for. We've been saying how maybe they haven't been basing some of the critiques on the looks as much this season. Right. Well, this challenge is three looks. They have nothing but to judge based on them. So, it was a lot of work for the girls. Right. A lot of work for the girls. Right. So. Aquaria finally got the chance to shine because it's the only thing she's good at. I yeah. feel like we're starting to see a little bit of her personality. Yeah. yeah, she may not be like the campy queen or even like a comedy queen. But I felt like we did get to see the playful side of her this right. episode. Yeah. Oh? <laughs> yeah. So I, I agree with you. I think hey. so. So yeah, no, real talk. Aquaria, you slayed. So the mini challenge this week was kind of like a celebrity photo bomb. They each just gave, uh, them, yeah. gave them kind of a chance to be funny, funny faces, funny looks. I think everyone kind of, you know, did well. Everybody did. Yeah, well I mean, Aquaria <laughs> won the challenge, you know, kind of setting the tone for what's right. going to be a pretty good episode for her. Right. The main challenge, like we mentioned, was a three look challenge. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, what was the theme? The last ball on earth that kind of has like a eco-friendly theme. I think they're kind of commenting on uh, global warming. Global warming, exactly. 97% of scientists do believe in global warming. And, and four out of four the judges. Yeah. And four out of four point. hosts do believe as well. Like we mentioned before, the, the good news about there being a three look challenge is that the girls got to spend a lot of time in the workroom together. So that's where kind of all the bonding happened this week. Everyone was sort of like sharing their stories, letting their guards down. I thought it was hilarious when uh, Eureka's zipper broke and Monique said like a prayer for it. For elasticity, yeah, bro. Yeah, that was funny. Girl. Bitch, that's me checking my account. Please, please, please. please. <laughs> Logging in. Oh. Fine. But I like that. It's it's the camaraderie shade, you know, like we do each other and like, yeah. you know, the queens do all the time. So that, that's happening more as they're sort of getting to know each other better and getting more in the experience together. So I love, I love it. I love the queens bonding. Can we please talk about Miss Rue and her exchange? Oh, bitch! Monet. I love the Pussy group. popped the wig like, up. Pussy pop pop up. Like, oh, no, no. Like, I just like it. It just looks the good The pussy wig me. or the, the pussycat wig, yeah. Pop a pussycat wig. Uh, and then what did Miss Rue no say? Oh yeah, oh, Miss Cracker kind of shaded her. She's known for like just getting up and going in sweatpants doing a gig. No talk. Well, no, no, no talk. No. I know that was for her. It was just everything. RuPaul was like shading her. But she was giving her a little warm. You know, yeah. she, that's always been when she goes mm -hmm. into the workroom. Sometimes she gives them a little like take my words yeah. as a critique. Yeah. You know, she was like, yeah. the issue. So, you know, yeah. She did. She's like, yeah, but really, you could try something else though, right? You may have signatures, and that might be your thing yeah. outside the competition. But this is. RuPaul's Paul's trying, yeah, just like right. one of the queens so mentioned, they was it like, up. she comes out there and she looks, uh, you know, a mess, but she has, has personality the with RuPaul's Drag Race. So Can we uh, talk about Asia O'Hara, like in the workroom and just how like, she's, she's more great. than just an intense grit, right. she's more, she's lovable, she's mother-like, mm -hmm. she's, you know. That's what she said, she likes playing the mother figure because oh. she lost her parents really yeah. early on. Both, and she's talented yeah, both as fuck, she's yeah. fucking so, and she's, you know, known to do work amongst other people. So I, I like that I'll kind of shine light on her because she's real deserving. I'm sorry, I gotta call it like I uh -oh. see a girl. Uh -oh. You are not Bianca Del Rio, girl. You Ooh. cannot. Asia O'Hara, like you oh. cannot help all the queens in the room and oh. then still think that you're gonna slay. I mean, slay. she did like, though. She helped. I all appreciate much to her that. Own that that's cute. I get it, but yeah. bitch, you have to focus on yourself yeah. first. You know what I mean? I and that. and it is a competition. And I mean, it wasn't enough for her to go home, obviously, yeah. but. I think that she learned her lesson on this one. I'm glad well. everybody spoke up and said like, oh yeah, she oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. They could have been quiet and let just throw it under the bus. Like, like, oh, did, did you no you did it. What are you talking about? Girl, what's she she, she could have oh, she 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 pulled a BB and like, yeah. what? I, this is all me. These were all, right. all me. Oh, oh bitch, did you have me? <laughs> she's like, girl, those are my boots. Are these? Oh. Right. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Uh, I feel like Aquarius did bring like a different Aspect, because I'm not gonna lie, she has been dry, and I'm right. not gonna, I don't like this, like, arrogant attitude, but I feel like we saw a softer side to her, and as well as St. Clair. Blair St. Clair. Clair, yeah. I feel like we got to see a little more of her, and, like, a little more of her story, and it made me respect her more, because I'm not gonna lie, like, she was saying, 
you come in, she's coming in there and looking like a young queen. Like, oh, she's not competition, but she knows her references. Yeah. She knows her classic cinema. She, what did she say? She was a like a seamstress. She's done yeah. hair and makeup. Right. So she's yeah. very well rounded for being oh. so young and looking even younger. She did her homework. Yeah, definitely one to watch. Wow. I think she killed it today too. Actually, we'll get into yeah. it when we get into the critiques. I, unfortunately, I can't say the same for Miss Cameron Michaels, girl. <laughs> you still, still not Ooh. one. Okay, this is four episodes now, and not <laughs> one, one. <laughs> girl, not <laughs> one. Behind the scenes what? interview. It's just really weird because, like, in confessionals, they probably ask every queen, break down your day, you right. know. They, there's got to be a line or two somewhere in four days. That's already what two weeks there, mm -hmm. and nothing that they could use. I mean, her her behind the scenes queen interview. Like we said she had a lot of personality, and she seemed like she could at least fake it in an interview. Right. So it's really weird to me. I don't know. I think something really weird about it. But right. I don't know. Maybe maybe eventually she'll get the time to shine. But you, you know who Cameron Michaels is, right? You know which one we're talking about? The Muscle Queen. The there Muscle Queen. Go. Yeah, I got she one. Knows, but is that out? So the runway looks, the very first category was Alaska Winter Realness, which uh, was kind of a play on global warming. So right. it meant like summer amazing. wear or like, I think it was like a summer wear swimsuit inspired. Kind of confused me a little bit. Yeah, I was like, I didn't get it at first either. And I was like, oh, then it worked. Got it. Okay. Ow, winter, right. summer, got it. My favorite look of the winter realness was Aquaria, the Nacho yeah. Libre superhero yeah. with the with high that brain, bitch. I loved it. It was Swung like the bright yeah. color. Yeah. That's totally yeah. my aesthetic. I love the pop art of it all and the, what, you know, culture the, appropriating? You, oh, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even think about that aspect <laughs> I'm of it. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I know, but I didn't think about that aspect of it. You I'm can't kidding. enjoy anything. Not that old. No, I know. I've been had it, like, proper logo. Oh, but I loved it. Like, it was my favorite. My favorite looks I loved it, good. yeah. Uh, she killed it. She killed it. Aquarius, she's gonna give you a look every run. Well, runway. she mentioned this week that there would be a little pressure on her because she's known as a look queen and these are three look, look challenge so look if she doesn't hot. bring it then what is she good at so and she she did not disappoint this week i will say who was the one that, that looked like lisa vanderpump oh <laughs> Cameron Michaels, Muscle that Queen, worked. looked at, eh, I don't know, swimsuit with the... She does a lot of these robe looks. That wasn't my she favorite She tried to cover up those buff arms. I, maybe that's what She's it coming is. coming for you, sis. But the hat, <laughs> Blair St. Clair did like the vintage Barbie, which I thought oh, she killed she it. Bitch. Did that's, she do good on all three of her? Yeah, shows? yeah. She did. She yeah. did. She's killing it. I was uh, a little... Take your time, honey. Yeah, Take it a little... <laughs> Take okay. your time, baby. <laughs> I was more taken back when she wasn't top three. I was. We'll get into that. We'll get yeah. To that. yeah. But yeah, I thought she brought it as well. The big fan. The big fan. Oh, oh the big fan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, the big fan slayed that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I like that. That was one too. a clear winner for sure. Right. <laughs> Miss Cracker, when she first came out, I wasn't so sure about it. Yes. But uh, once you really knew what she was doing, with right. it was all hair. Like and the then hair she showed up crack ass. And the green. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I thought her, it was very creative. I'm sure there's a lot of work put into that, too. Um, she's been killing it consistently throughout yeah. the game. And she's she, still my fave girl. I'm sorry. Like, I Cracker? love I love all it. Miss Cracker's my favorite. Oh, right now. I just oh, wish she, I, she had a little padding uh, on her leg. Right. It looks like she skipped leg day. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh. Uh, was there anybody that you guys thought was a little bit lacking? I know Dusty Ray didn't really get uh, good points for yeah. his. It was kind of like shorts and a top and then a really sparkly no, hat. You know Some of these people just look like they just wore clothes. <laughs> like regular like, like off the rack. Oh, yeah. were, I would say, there was a few of them, honestly. I'm sorry, Ms. Monet Exchange. Like, I think you need to come to a realization, girl. Like. A lot of times you think that you're you are executing these concepts with your outfits, girl. It's not translating. It's not coming through. I'm sorry, oh, so little messy. She's a translator. Because she don't get it. <laughs> she don't get it, girl. She doesn't get it. Now let's talk about Asia O'Hara, how great her looks. They I feel like they could have been so much better, bitch, but instead she decided to be try to be Mother Teresa and help everybody else. Yeah, she you struggled know. a bit this week. Yeah. Uh, well the second look of the night was the reverse of the summer. Winter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Miami in the winter. Kind of a reverse play. They kinda of had coats and winter looks. Uh, was there anybody who stood out to you guys? That's I like the one that looked like she sucked a cold dick. 
Oh, that, that, one, that one was good too. Wait, wow. who was that? Cameron Michaels. No, yeah, that, that was Cameron Michaels. What did you guys think of Aquarius kind of pastel fur? I loved oh, it. I thought it was really that, good that too. That to me was probably Aquarius' best look. Oh, you think so? It was opinion. good. I really yeah, liked I thought it. It was yeah. Aquarius. No, I felt like, you know, I love that look. And also, I like that Aquarius, you, she like designs a lot of these things. You know, all the queens, I know they touch a few of these their things, but they also bring a designers on board. But I feel right. like Aquaria, you know, that's what she went to school for. She did that shit for college and she brought it back. She's that's on RuPaul's drag, ra drag Race and she was on the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. come Definitely. through, bitch. Come through. Full circle, bitch. Oh, Eureka. I didn't love her look, but I felt like her makeup and hair, she was painted really, really good. You guys don't remember Eureka. I can tell by the blank stare. Here's my thing. Uh, Here's my thing. Can we just talk about your... Who is I, good? Eureka be serving looks, girl, but for some reason, I just feel like it starts looking all the same across the board. And I love Eureka. I love her aesthetic, but I just feel like everything just starts well, girl, kind of looking... material is expensive. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that part. Oh, bitch. <laughs> so if I gotta do the same corset... You better give me some extra. It's not even that. Don't even her makeup. Bus. Even and her makeup. Extra and it's zippers, always, some extra clasps. It's always so, a crazy like, crown or like a, one of the hair. I love looks. Eureka's looks. I'm I do too. I know. I do I love them, but I do feel like they all kind of start yeah. looking alike. You know what I mean? Uh, Vixen's winter look was the like uh, into the woods, like very fairy tale mm -hmm. with the ice queen. She mm -hmm. kind of had like a little skull on her head. I, I really like that one. I love yeah. that. I love again Miss Cracker. She did it for me. She, oh yeah, hers was what great. Did she, wear? she did the pink like the. Pink. Oh, that the I pink kind of like winter ski wear almost. That to me know. served high fashion, which I was living for. Right. I love that all pink, like the one that yeah. Miss Cracker did. It served me high fashion, but she just looked like bitch. That was a woman. Yeah, that was a woman. Her looks were pretty strong. Yeah. Miss Monet Exchange girl. She really thinks in her mind, bitch. She thinks she has charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. And the only thing she has is nerve. The nerve to wear those awful oh. outfits. Oh no, girl. Okay. You go and ask well, New York. They say some different girl. She's they like her. They li I like her too. They like her, girl. But the drag race, it's a different stage, you girl. It is. You gotta give her. us more. And I love Monet Exchange. Yeah, no, I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You, so you yeah. definitely felt like Lester for Monet on her part. Yeah, particularly for this episode because it just yeah. she wasn't giving it to me. Right. Well, mm -hmm. well, the final look was a kind of a Martian, like futuristic kind of a look, and that's probably the one that she got red on the worst. Yeah. Was that kind of a red pot oh, glued, Jesus and then the wig it. was sort of, yeah. and the jewelry well, was. It, like, it remind yes. me of that door in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, it totally. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this? Yeah. I freaking <laughs> <get> that bitch. <laughs> Maybe a few but, more exchanges with the judges and she'll be But she still didn't get it. That's what makes me nervous. Right. She, she still she was, was pretty like, confident. I don't, after the I don't get yeah. it. Like yeah. I'm looking at myself and everything's right. Yeah. Why is it wrong? Yeah, it was well, a little she like, was giving me Nikki. 2006, Nikki. Nikki's yeah, first but, mixtape, Nikki. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, is there any other uh, futuristic Mars looks that you guys liked or that stood out? Miss Crackers. Miss Crackers. Right. Even though, like they said, yes, it was a bodysuit, bitch. But right. she really incorporated the whole like landing on Mars type thing with the helmet, yeah. and it was cute. And she, you know, accentuated it with like, the silver with like the it, yeah. black. I don't know. Like, it almost like, looked like, like vinyl or something. It was too like on, on the, the nose. Money, you yeah. Know what I mean? I'll, of course, it was a look, and I'll take it. For me, it was safe. Okay. So yeah. I felt well, that like, was a little safe. Yeah. I it felt was like good, it was but it was an easy go-to if you will. Jebby don't want a cracker on this one. <laughs> I'm good on it. Too. <laughs> so it was another look that I really liked. Uh, Blair St. Clair. She kind of had like the pink futuristic, mm -hmm. like gem and the holograms in the future kind of thing. I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, she, I think all of her looks this week were actually pretty strong. Yeah. Blair St. Clair, yeah, she don't really stood out this her. week. Which I was like, why wasn't she top three? But I don't know, that was me. Uh, did you guys like Aquarius, like the very bold, the black quilted, like lightning bolt and the... Letting all her goodies hang out. Man. Right. She was giving them all kind of different shows. Girl, her clip was Is that, out yeah, she and went about. Out. Girl. Yeah. That's why she won, because yeah. she showed a little ball. Oh, <laughs> just one. Just oh, the one. Nut. Just one uh, <laughs> just little testicle just hanging out of there. Oh. I thought it was good. I liked I did like the juxtaposition of her two uh two looks, like the superhero and the super right. villain. It's what right. it, it, it was kind of told a story. Right. It was pretty cool. Did you guys like Dusty Ray's gold kind of fairy tale no. future sparkly? I don't think so. Yeah, it was they didn't really I didn't like get it. it. It wasn't very no. Mars. She looked kinda like pink. No. 
She kind of looked like Morgan Michaels. See I that. feel like I've it seen that weird. act in Hollywood. Yeah. Girl, she looked like Jane Lynch <laughs> with black yeah. hair, girl. You know those <laughs> ones where they're like stiff? Yes. And you gotta like, yeah. like wait, so they move in, mm -hmm. and they're, they're like, boop. Yeah. Like, and she ah! thought she was gonna get away with just I don't know. Blowing out the there were a few uh, Hollywood Boulevard looks today. Oh what my with God. what with the ready to wear and some of these paint jobs. I was gonna say there's a, paint few, jobs, there is a few there's a few Hollywood <laughs> ladies of the night in the uh, in the lineup today. Yeah. I think Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. Donut Shop. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, girl. But we shifted. Was to I the, the only one who wasn't feeling vixens? Get up. Oh. What is she wearing again? Just I, do you know what I wrote? I wrote? I wrote turquoise Hobby Lobby explosion. That's oh, what it looked like to me. And yeah, I, we like Vixen, yeah. and I think turquoise is kind of her color. She plays with it a lot, but it was just, it was really meant. It was very party city, Hobby Lobby, yeah. crafty, which is interesting because that comes up later, the craftiness of it all. Bitch, uh, I also wasn't really feeling Monique Hart's uh, last outfit either. What just, was it wasn't ugly. It was the one that Loki looked like J Lo back in 1999. Which right. Was like, oh. But it was Why very. It, I, it was cute. It just didn't fit it the theme fit. of what it. It was nothing. Yeah, runway, nothing you know? futuristic. It was like, okay, nothing. J Lo for right. 2028. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Mm. Under one. I still fucks with Monique Hart though, bitch. Oh yeah. She's hilarious. Sure. I, I'll take comedy over looks, honey. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's RuPaul Drag Race. Yeah. So you gotta give it all. Give it mm -hmm. all. Uh, I really liked Eureka's look. Actually, her final futuristic look. Uh, I know you weren't as impressed with her looks today, but I think, you know, We've seen it. We mentioned this on season nine, or at least I mentioned it. It's harder sometimes to be a big girl in this competition and to make looks work and to make them different and polished. Especially has always been a problem with some of the bigger queens. They do a lot of jumpsuits and messiness. And I think Eureka <laughs> is. Well, I mean, it's kind of true. But I think Eureka is very polished yeah, in a lot of her looks, good. and they're yeah. very good. And I was actually really surprised that she wasn't in the top three this week. I, I think all of her. Me looks personally, I thought she she well, could have been up there. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bitch. I, she I thought character. she did well, but she was top four. She top just, four. Okay, she maybe. Is the mark. All right. right. That's, I'll agree with that. Well, she was safe. She was safe. She yeah, was safe. I feel like she was safe. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> 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 The top three of the week were Cameron Michaels, which I mean, her looks were really strong. I do agree that mm. that is the thing that's holding her in the competition is her looks, her, her really good looks. Is she gonna be hurting in this snatch mm. game? Mm. Yeah, I feel Cameron like... Michaels makes me yawn, girl. She's so oh, tall. I'm sorry. Oh, like, I'm she's not... just so. Well, well, she gave you three different beats. They were good. They were good. Or, yeah, I, I like didn't. That's where she probably. I'll was. give her something she can beat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. right. Okay then. Give, give, it a, shit. give it a break. Oh. <laughs> Let it heal. You gotta rest. Hey, well, I gotta give her some kind of compliment. I oh. mean. Can you give her a confessional? Cause she can't lose either. <laughs> Just she you might do. do a shock and reveal on y'all. Y'all don't even know. I hope so. Cause I do like her. I mean, they episodes. did the same thing with Sasha Valora, girl. She was boring off for the first half season. All of a sudden, right. she, she came out of no. That's true. Way. I am getting maybe kind of a slight Sasha Valora edit for her. Cause her, her looks are really, really strong but she hasn't said a damn word so oh, right uh, like we mentioned throughout Aquaria killed it throughout the episode and she was the winner of of the whole the, the whole Mexican shebang challenge. yeah she got a first Maxi win she did she did and I do think it's well deserved I know you're not the biggest Aquaria fan but she she killed it this episode well I mean girl of course she's gonna win it everything about this challenge and this particularly this oh, episode was about, was about looks, looks yeah. right. so Aquaria, I ain't taking that away from you, girl. You are a look queen and a half, but I need you to give us more. All right, well, let's just get into Untucked a little bit. A little bit. Uh, like last week, Untucked proved to bring the drama. That's why we all actually love yes. Untucked. We like the sweet moments, but we want to see these queens go at it a little they bit. They brought it back on TV. Yes, it I'm was so glad. On YouTube, YouTube only, only, right? Yeah. And I'm sorry, Untucked has not gotten that heated in years. I was like, like season nine was like I was gonna say was that nothing. is some like that's Morgan McMichael's up in. Mystique Madison, like that's too in the, each other's faces a little bit. Like, well, don't call me crafty. Well, okay, well, let's break it down a little bit. Yeah, that was uh, kind of it was a very random. weird. It felt a little edited. I think there was a little more side comments that made it elevate. So I don't know exactly. Yeah, what you, happened. you, you drew on that. You were like, okay, I kind of feel felt, like, yeah. you know, that there was probably more that was said, but it was edited it probably in or favor. just not. Caught on camera. Or something. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it started with Eureka said something to Vixen along the lines of, well, you're really crafty, so you probably, you know, you did good in this. Did she mean it as a read, though? But she admitted that she's like, it was kind of a slick she comment. Did, but actually, that's Because true. she felt like she was getting because she wanted Vixen. So but right. then, I don't get it. Like, why would you do that? 
and then expect what did you expect her to do? Like I don't get that. I don't get you. I mean, it's, I feel it's like, like, a backhanded it's compliment. Gone. It was a backhand. It wasn't a pure like shade. It was backhanded. But like, why oh, did she you're get mad that crafty. she got mad? That's what I don't get. I think it stems back from more if than that. If that was the purpose of, that was like her intention. Well, no, no, Eureka, no right. That Eureka day. made it obvious. She's like, I have this feeling that the Vixen always kind of had like an underlying issue with me. Okay. And sure enough, but once Eureka said what she said, Vixen pretty said. much I knew. But, but why not be mature and actually just say it? That's like, true. It, sound, it seems like That's you have enough. an underlying issue with me. Let's talk about it. I, but I will, I will say that I think it's fair for Eureka to kind of feel that way because also she's like, wait, does she really have a problem with me or is she just like this with yeah. everybody? Because the Vixen has right. been, yeah. five, you know, she was fueling that thing with Miss Cracker and with, yeah. with Aquaria. Well, well the Vixen, the the Vixen was right. sort of talking smack about Eureka last week too. She was mm -hmm. mocking her in the workroom saying she never shuts up. She ties to be the center of attention, which maybe Eureka's been accused of being before, but you know, it is obvious that the Vixen does have a slight problem yeah. with her, Eureka, and so maybe Eureka picked up on that. And then you throw shade in your drag queens and you're dramatic and, you yeah. know, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Look, everyone has different personalities. You not you can't expect to clash with everyone, but you can Mitch. learn how to get along. Yeah. If you cannot stand someone, that's teaching you patience. There's mm -hmm. a lesson there, always. Right. So for them just to be going off and about, like, I get it, like, I'm sure Eureka was getting a bad vibe from her. Let me just, yeah. you know, see what's tea. She shouldn't have gone that route, but that's the route she decided right. because but there's it cameras in my face. It yeah. make it right. But there's a sense of like- Everyone's had a cocktail or two yeah. and they're all safe. So they're like, I don't have to worry about this yeah. competition anymore. So what can I do for some screen time? But, right. you know, and it's, it is good TV. It is entertaining. But at the end of the day, there's still real people dealing with real life. Right. right? A lot of, there's gonna be a confessional behind why she's like that. I well, we'll you. find out. I, I, I well, like, her, why she's scene. so. Hard. I mean, and something like, happened to her in her life. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. I mean, she's probably, very political. She's lies. very, you know, she has her Black Girl Magic show. She's very, very woke, and she's very yeah. about um, the struggle like of people her. of color yeah. and things like that. And that is very important. And I do love that aspect of her. I know she doesn't like to be called negative or angry, but you have to not let the anger get the best of you in certain situations. That doesn't mean never stick up for yourself or never bring your all. It's just how you interact with other people. You can either choose to make it a bigger fight or you can choose to make a joke and just remember, okay, she's a shady bitch and I'll remember that later and I'll shade her later if she keeps it up, but I don't have to elevate it. Mm. I Zero to a hundred. I, I, and I think that that's why I low-key like identify with Vixen a little bit because I, I, bitch, I hate it. being called negative and I also feel like when you feel strongly about something, when you're very passionate, passionate. I know that feeling. Right. Am I, am I trying to make excuses and say that it's the right thing to, you know, take it to the next level. But I do understand where Vixen right. is coming from. Yeah. I do agree. I think that, you know, she's going to end up saying something in, the, in a confessional as to why she's that way. Oh, you know what sure. I mean? And I get that. Um, you know what's boy. crazy? My friend Edwin called this out last, he, when we were talking, and he's like, Vixen and Eureka are going to get into it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what do you mean, why? He's like, they're just both, both very strong personalities. Mm -hmm. I see them getting into it. And yeah. literally this episode, I'm like, I guess you could have seen it come in. They are yeah, two totally very definitely. big stories. Right. Yeah. I love that the Vixen thought that Eureka was going to be like Aquarium and back <laughs> uh -huh. Eureka's big ass was like, no ma'am. She's, She's like, like take off my vest, take off my hat. We're going to talk about this. Right. Right. Like, I got extra it, protection. I'm said, ready for what do you mean you're my mama? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh Ooh. well, she's very close with Eureka's yeah. very close with her mom, and so maybe that kind of ru and her uh, mom, yeah, her yeah, mom yeah. has some health problems, so it might have rubbed right. her a little wrong too. Right. I don't know if Fixin knew that, but you know, so it's just one of those things. Neither one of them wanted to back down, and they do have such strong personalities. Mm -hmm. So poor Mayhem was just in the background, like oh, yeah. oh, watching back and forth. But <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem was just like, bitch, I've been trying to get on this show for how many fucking seasons? I have no time right. for this girl. Right. Well, <laughs> The bottom three looks of the night ended up being Monet Exchange, which we weren't really surprised about. Unfortunately, we love her, but her looks were not strong. <laughs> uh, and then Asia O'Hara, who also sort of, you know, struggled a bit this week. Right. And then last but not least was Dusty Ray Bottoms in the bottom. I love her name. And uh, his his looks weren't as strong this week Dusty. either. <laughs> Dusty Ray Bottoms. Well, he just needs a little polishing. Oh. That's how I feel about this. Yeah. Right. I mean, I still really like his. Dust off some of the. Like this. <laughs> Just a little, a little Ooh. polish. <laughs> Asia O'Hare, they gave another pass. They sort of said, "Don't get in your head and worry about yourself," which I thought is really, really right. sweet. Like uh, even Aquaria, which I did like in the workroom in Untucked. Aquaria kind of gave her a pep talk and told her, like, "Look, 
Do great, look out for you. Girl, did she not give everybody a pep talk? It sounded like she was just pulling shit out her ass. That's, and I don't know. Talk. Well, maybe she came across I bad last like, week, oh so she's God. trying to be extra nice this well, week. She was like, ooh, that, that sound good. That, was, that sound but it was. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Asia, you know, she was safe, you know, obviously because she's got to help these other queens in the future looks. <laughs> yeah. So, she's good. Hey, that might be, uh, that might work to her favor later on. She probably yeah. being strategic. But in real life, she makes clothes, right? Yeah, she yeah. designed. She does. It, we talked about, she talked about that That's in the workroom. She's like a seamstress. She does costumes for people. She's done some celebrity outfits and stuff. So she makes yeah, a living. This is drag race. She has to do it for herself. Of course, of course. I, All I will say, that was admirable of the other queens, yeah. like you had said. Yeah. That was admirable of them to come forward and be like, yeah, Mama Ru, she I, was helping all of us. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? really like that. Bitch, I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Jeb did not help me with my jokes. <laughs> At all. I'm all did there. it all by myself, girl. Nice. <laughs> Uh, well, what did you guys think of the final lip sync? You thought it was kind of underwhelming. I you didn't love really it. Mediocre, but the person that I wanted to win won. Yeah, right. same. I, yeah, but RuPaul really liked it. She said that they both brought it. I mean, I thought I thought they both were good performing. Nothing blew me away. Like I never. I did before. like that she blew said she was room. gonna split, and then she was like, "That was cute." And, and I think it it was, yeah. Yeah. if I, she wouldn't have actually done the split, though, I would have been mad. Yeah, I think because she had that little setup, the joke, yeah. and then the payoff at the end, yeah. it kind of edged out the competition. As right. much as we love Dusty Ray the last couple of episodes, mm -hmm. you know, his looks just haven't been as strong as some of the other girls. And right. uh, I am glad that Monet Exchange won the lip oh, sync. And she I mean, it, you just saw it coming. The bitch could fucking lip sync for her life. Girl, she better level her Percy up next week, though, because, girl, so you cool. can go home. Miss Monet exchange if you keep doing some busted looks, girl. Yeah. Well, I like that they give them kind of the shake up. Like last yeah. week it was Mayhem's like, wake up, mm -hmm. pull it together. Now this week it's Asia O'Hara too. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, you can't help other girls. And now hopefully Monet exchange takes this and runs with it because I really do like her and I want to yeah, see I more like things from her. And you know, I want her to be around for a while, so. And she's got Same. some great content. If you haven't checked out her YouTube, she's got some really good videos of just her and dragging out and about in public. It's just like stuff that'll touch you emotionally. As well. Monet, you were yeah. about, I need mm -hmm. to Check I this can out. See it made me like her more. Yeah. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, all right. Well, congratulations, Aquaria, this week. You killed it. Uh, you deserve the win. And unfortunately, we will miss you, Dusty Ray Bottoms. Hopefully, we'll see you again because your stories really did touch us. And, sure. you know, you are a talented queen. We just didn't get to see enough of you. But You get to go back to doing your dots all the time, girl. Now, oh, right? Now you can put all the dots on your face you want. Dots. Dots for days. Dots for days. Oh, that's it. Yahira. What is her name? No. 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 <laughs> no. Your, <laughs> your Hura stole that from the dot look from Dusty Ray. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this review of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, Episode 4. You know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell us how you feel. Tell us what you think about Aquaria winning the challenge, what you think about Miss Dusty Ray going home. Exactly. Yeah, and all the drama in between. Vixen and Eureka. Let us know what you think about that because I have a feeling that this is not the end of the drama with at least Vixen and maybe Vixen and Eureka together, but there's right. definitely going to be more. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next week. Bye, guys. I just remember like being uh, a like whore. a freshman. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, like it was yesterday. <laughs> Literally, it was yesterday. <laughs> Girl, stay tuned. <laughs> oh, I haven't even started. <laughs> <laughs> the bag. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's my story, bitch. Never mind. How Debbie yeah. came a right. hoe. How she came time? a hoe. Not long ago. Long ago. No. No. She was a hoe. <laughs> but I fuck him now. Global warming. Global warming, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like the shit's real, though. I mean, seriously. I, don't I mean, know. you are from Texas. You would I mean, say that. seriously. Right, like, <laughs> right. The great country West of Texas. Texas does what it does. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it does what God says is what yeah, it does. Right. That ain't in the Bible. No, Them excuse her. Them polar bears are fine. She's right. been mining coal, girl. On the on the, on the flat <laughs> earth surface. Bring our coal mining. <laughs> bring our coal mining back. How about that? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye. That is the look. All ass and no legs. Yeah, girl. I know. Thanks to Kim Kardashian. Um. Thanks to me. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you claim that? She did, girl. Ass. 
Well, bitch, I you should I see. I have legs. Bitch, I, I got legs though. You're right. I got no, no legs. Real talk, side note, bitch, I've literally had people who, like, I've introduced to Jeb that they, they've, like, pulled me aside and be like, so did, like, your friend Jeb get his ass done? And I was like, no, sis. That no, is he's 100%. from Texas. <laughs> She's from Texas. <laughs> she ate a lot of fried food from the Cold fairs, rich. bitch. And it just All sat natural. right there. All <laughs> it's, it's this fucking grease and fucking grease. cotton candy. Grease. <laughs> she wakes up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> well, I have to say, I had an awkward encounter with the fan this weekend, and I felt like with the fan? was I? Yeah, and I was like, we was have I a few. Was I? A <laughs> no, no, I was no, no, we're all the same. All right, Prince Charming. I'm sorry, God. bitch. No, we're all the same. Wait, 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 you. Bitch, I am not playing this. I'm in the. I just want to know if I'm in the shot. Oh yeah, no, you're all in the shot. Both arms, both shoulders, both elbows. Oh yeah, she is all the way. Elbows. Hey, hey elbows. elbows. <laughs> How my elbows look? I got some lotion in my bag. Oh. oh the shade of it all. Bro, they're so stuck in bitch. I didn't bring any. <laughs> so shady. So shady. Four to right? four hoes. Right? We're right. Four, <laughs> four out of four hoes, believe. In global warming. <laughs> I'm not a hoe anymore. <laughs> Again, this this queen brings it every week for me. I feel like I'm always going to stand for her. She brings it every... Bitch, y'all ain't no... I know. Miss Cracker. Valentina. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Valentina. I'm, I'm getting it, bitch. What did you like about it? Well, I meant it like in a struggle, like, like a good way. Like, you know, it was like a lightning. Lightning in a bottle. Yeah, no, I got you, bitch. I know. I got you. <laughs> you just don't remember not the how you use strike. Because you know how her outfit would look like a lightning bolt? Oh, is it strike? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I happen to like the look. You um, struck out on that I one. I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the day! Uh -oh. The time has come. <laughs> You know, he's turning his your puns against you. Right. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> this bitch is a fucking I have to carry you around.